What's up, everybody? Welcome to Clown World News. It's your host, Towels. Today, we're talking about an awesome thing that Trump just did. Trump wants to ban. Let's just look at some spin on it so you can, get the, so you can know what to think before you, you check it out. Trump orders crackdown on federal anti-racism training, calling it anti-American. Uh, unofficially, because I don't want to tell you what to think, but me personally, thank you, Donald Trump. Memo directs officials to identify spending related to training on critical race theory and white privilege. Oh, are we attacking critical race theory? Thank you, Donnie. What is critical race theory? Let's just highlight it and right click it and then we can press search Google for a critical race theory. I swear that's a, such a useful feature. Critical race theory is a theoretical framework in the social sciences developed out of postmodern philosophy that uses critical theory to examine society and culture as they relate to categorizations of race, law, and power. Uh, if that's not the biggest euphemism but let's let's just watch let's listen to some Twitter because that'll explain it a little bit better. Critical race theory. Critical race theory helps contextualize how systemic racism affects us. Trump and his party perpetuate systemic racism, but pretend that it doesn't exist. Of course he wants sightings of CRT reported. This is white supremacy trying to cover its tracks. So critical race theory. <clears throat> um damn, they they got all this fucking shit about major themes. What we got here? Uh, Naming's one on real revisionist interpretations of American civil rights laws and progress, criticism of civil rights scholarship and anti discrimination law. Uh, well, I don't know. It's, it's literally just a headache, is what it is. White privilege. Belief in the notion of a myriad of social advantages, benefits, and courtesies that come with being a member of the dominant race. An example? white people a clerk not following you around or in a store or not having people cross the street at night to avoid you are two examples of white privilege uh okay but i will guarantee you that if i dressed a certain way and i had a certain kind of body language and i was doing certain things the clerk would probably follow me around and the people would cross the street to avoid me. You know, it just has to do with... But whatever, I understand that there is some sort of thing known as white privilege. I get it. It's real. It makes sense. Because privilege is real. It's a real word in the dictionary that you can look up. There's also things such as black privilege, Asian privilege, gay privilege. Dude, to be a black, gay, trans man right now, dude, you could get any job you wanted in corporate America. You're, you're right to the front of the line. Like, you go to a theme park, if you're gay, black, trans, and disabled, be like, sir, right this way. You get to ride the Millennium Falcon first. <clears throat> Sorry, I just had to cough up some of that bullshit that I was, I was talking. So anyways, that that's critical race theory. Uh, we remember it... Uh, because of stuff like this. This is from July 8th. Cult programming in Seattle. The Seattle, the city is training white municipal employees to overcome their internalized racial superiority. Internalized racial superiority. Do I think that the white race is the best race? I, you know, I honestly don't think about that. <laughs> Do I, and in fact, I, I'm pretty sure that when I think about superiority or inferiority, I'm thinking about like athletics and I'm like, dude, being black, black privilege on the fucking basketball court. Imagine having fast twitch muscle fibers that allow you to run and jump faster. That's, that's awfully, that's a pretty good privilege. I don't know if there's anything that we can do with politics to fix that in inadequacy, that inequality. But I don't, I don't give a fuck about this. I don't have an internalized racial superiority. I believe that people should be judged on the content of their character and not the color of their skin. Call me crazy. I just came up with that. Yeah, totally me. That was my idea. I've never heard anybody else say that ever. No one who was ever smart at all ever said that people should be judged not by the color of their skin, but the content of their character. No one. 
It was Martin Luther King Jr. <laughs> I know you know this, though. I know you know this. Okay, so yeah, this whole thing was really retarded. This is what this is what Donald Trump did recently. He's talking about these types of things. Uh, let's see if we can find anything crazy. They wanted to like like <laughs> what? The diversity trainers outlined strategies for converting outsiders and recommended specific practices for interrupting others whiteness in effect the activists have organized an ideological pyramid scheme using public dollars to establish their authority within the government then using that authority to recruit others into the program as lindsay writes the goal is no longer to indoctrinate on what is right think and wrong think it is to make the subject's thinking be completely in line with the view of the world described by the cult doctrine well that's actually very refreshing to hear very very refreshing segregated diversity training at seattle hall stairs oh we got michigan employees had to do some shit too oh, i just want to see i just want to find a little highlight of what they had to do they had to basically write an affirmation that that they benefit from racism and shit like that it's nonsense that, that you'd force people to do that. So, Trump, here we go with the BBC News. Trump bans anti-American diversity training. A U.S. memo to government agencies says it has come to his attention that millions of dollars of taxpayers' money has funded such trainings. The document says these sessions only foster resentment in the workforce. Mr. Trump, oh, never heard it said like that before. Mr. Trump has previously said that he does not believe systemic racism is a problem in the U.S., the memo comes amid the social justice protests that have swept the nation in recent months. All, all right, let's just read the memo. Fuck BBC and fuck The Guardian. You want to know why fuck The Guardian? Because you're reading this. You're reading this shit, and then all of a sudden, democracy is in peril. You're like, is this still the same article? What the fuck? Ahead of this year's U.S. election, Donald Trump is busy running the largest misinformation campaign in history as he questions the legitimacy of voting by mail. You ever, you ever like project, you know what, uh, dude, you could, you could start an entire movie theater industry with all this projection. The largest misinformation campaign in history is probably what Facebook and big tech is doing by trying to claim that voting by mail isn't ripe with fraud. But yeah, so if you're reading this article, all of a sudden it just like, give us money because you're afraid. And we want you to be afraid. I don't know. Vote our politics and then give us money to do it. Like, how do they convince people to do that shit? How does how does the Washington Post and the New York Times convince people to pay money to be obviously like yelled at and scolded and it's like an abuser. It's Big Brother abuser abusing them. Just like Biden talking about like they're doing war games over whether or not donald trump will peacefully relinquish power and they're saying that if biden wins it will be peaceful it'd be easy nothing bad will happen we don't have to worry about that but if trump wins then, oh then he's gonna he's never gonna give up the power because the mail-in voting the mail-in votes will come in they'll all be for biden and then he'll never relinquish it and blah 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 and it's just like how are how can you guys say that things will be peaceful if Biden wins. Why would Antifa and BLM suddenly stop rioting? Oh, wait. It's because you guys are the ones funding them. You're the ones controlling them. So, yeah, that's some bullshit. Regardless, let's read the memo because this is the real news. This is spin, spin. Even what I'm doing, everything you just listened to before is a little bit of spin. However, I'll link to this. This is the actual news. Let me get a copy, control C on that one. So I'll put it in the description. You can check this out. It has come to the president's attention that executive branch agencies have spent millions of taxpayer dollars to date training government workers to believe divisive anti-American propaganda. For example, according to press reports, employees across the executive branch have been required to attend trainings where they are told that virtually all white people contribute to racism or where they are required to say that they benefit from racism. 
According to press reports, in some cases, these trainings have further claimed that there is racism embedded in the belief that America is the land of opportunity or the belief that the most qualified person should receive a job. Thank you for saying it, uh, Russell Vote. Vote? <laughs> Russell Vote. Someone's trying to rustle the vote, if you know what I'm saying. It's Democrat Party, right but there. These types of trainings trainings not only run counter to the fundamental beliefs for which our nation has stood since its inception but they also engender division and resentment within the federal workforce we can be proud that as employ as an employer the federal government has employees of all races ethnicities and religions we can be proud that americans from all over the country seek to join our workforce and dedicate themselves to public service we can be proud of our continued efforts to welcome all individuals who seek to serve their fellow Americans as federal employees. However, we cannot accept our employees receiving training that seeks to undercut our core values as Americans and drive division within our workforce. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for saying it. People have been trying to point this out for a fat minute now, but thank you. I'm appreciative of this. The president has directed me to ensure that federal agencies cease and desist from using taxpayer dollars to fund these divisive, un-American propaganda training sessions. Accordingly, to that end, the Office of Management and Budget will shortly issue more detailed guidance on implementing the president's directive. In the meantime, all agencies are directed to begin to identify all contracts or other agencies spending related to any training on critical race theory white privilege or any other training or propaganda effort that teaches or suggests either one that the united states is an inherently racist or evil country or two that any race or ethnicity is inherently racist or evil in addition all agencies should begin to identify all available avenues within the law to cancel any such contracts and or to divert federal dollars away from these un-american propaganda training sessions if you want to fund that shit, you can pull it out of your own pocket taxpayers should not be it just is ridiculous you're paying taxes to a country so that these workers within the country can spend your taxpayer dollars to tell you that your country is evil and that you are inherently evil because you're a white man a white woman a white person that's racist how do people not get this like the goal to end racism is not revenge it's equality and equality is saying that everybody should be judged on the content of their character and not the color of their skin. This is basics. Yeah, so nice. Good all. Good all. Here we go. It's right here. I mean, I read it all. I'm going to link it. You can check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed that. We got some good news. That's good news. That's nice because critical race theory is a bunch of bullshit. The idea that white people are inherently evil is racist. The idea that America is inherently evil is racist. If America was so fucking bad, if it was so shitty to live in America, why is it the number one place that people from all over the world are keep trying to get into? We literally have to build a wall because people are trying to get in so bad. Like, get the fuck out of here. America is the melting pot. That means that America allows more people from more different cultures, it's more diverse, it has more... It allows more people to speak their mind than any other place in the world. That's what makes America beautiful. So if you start shutting down one race in America, and it's the white race, like why? You why are you doing that? Like you don't see, you don't see the irony. We already did this. We did this once. We've done this before. Let's not do this again. So yeah, that wraps up this episode of Clown World News. I'm still banned for I think another four or three days or some shit on YouTube. So this is my alt channel. You can check out the Patreon in the description and you can get to the link to the or the main and the whatever. Ow, oh, you know what it is. It's YouTube gonna be YouTube. So take care everybody. Uh, be a good person, be vigilant, take everything with a grain of salt, call your mom. Peace.